In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a smooth, bouncy text animation in After Effects with a few simple steps. Of course, we're going to do this without using any plugins, so let's jump to the tutorial. First, I'm going to create a new 1920x1080, 30 frames per second composition, and name it Render. Then select the Type tool and type something. I'm going to type Bounce with a dot at the end. Then make sure you center the text layer using the Align tab. Then expand the text layer drop down. Click the Animate button and select Position. Then click the Add button, Property Scale, then Add button again, Property Opacity. And one more time, Add button, but this time choose Selector, Expression. Then Expand Expression Selector 1 drop down. Hold the Alt key on the keyboard and click the stopwatch two times until you get access to Expressions. Then simply paste the expression that is available in the video description, as well as in the pinned comment. It's not the simplest of expressions, so just copy and paste it for now. As you can see, nothing is happening. That is until we change any of the animator properties. Let's increase the Y position to 100. Then unlink the uniform scaling and set the second scale value to 0%. And let's also set opacity to 0%. Now if we preview from the beginning, we can see the smooth bounce animation on the text, which looks pretty cool. At this point, it's just a matter of experimenting with the values and finding the look that you prefer. You can also add more properties such as rotation and tracking that will give you even more different looks. The possibilities are pretty much endless, so feel free to play around with the settings on your own. You can also adjust the expression itself by changing the frequency and the decay. Frequency determines how frequent the overshoot animation is. You can think of it as a speed of the bounce, whereas decay determines how long these bounces last. So if we set frequency to 10, you can see how quick the text bounces and how jittery it is. If that's something you like, you can go for that. I'll bring the value back to 1. Alternatively, if we set decay to 50, you can see how quickly the bounce ends. You almost don't even notice it. So the sweet spot should be at around 5 points. Cool thing about this animation is that you can simply save it as a preset and easily apply it to another text layer in your new project. So let me show you how to do that. Simply select the animator 1. Then click the animation at the top, save animation preset, then choose the folder where you want to save it, give it a name you like, and click save. Now, if I remove this text layer and then create a brand new one that does not have any animation, I can simply open effects and presets window, animation presets, user presets, then drag and drop the preset we have saved on top of the text layer. You can see now our brand new text layer instantly has the same smooth bouncy animation and you can create as many of these presets as you like also make sure to label them properly to know which one is which so a very useful tool to have in your workflow especially if you're dealing with a lot of text animations and that is it for today i hope you enjoyed and learned something new if you did do not forget to leave a like thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one peace out